Hi, my name is Russell Pate, and I am a graduate student at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign and a member of the Dairy Focus Lab Group. In this video, we will be going over how to generate a current somatic cell count by previous somatic cell count report on the data management systems DairyComp305 and PCDART. This report will give you an idea of the mastitis prevalence on your herd and also show you how your mastitis treatment protocol is performing. First, let's take a look at how to generate this report on DairyComp305. There are two ways to go about getting the report on DairyComp. The first is by using the guide operation located on the left-hand side of the screen. Once you are in the guide menu, click on the mastitis tab. From there, you will expand the category entitled Individual Cow Somatic Cell Count Change from Prior Month. Finally, you will click on the question, How has the individual somatic cell counts changed from last month in graphical form? This will bring up the report that we're looking for. Now that we have the report pulled up, notice what it is showing us. On the y-axis, or left-hand side of the screen, is the somatic cell count linear scores for the most recent month for each cow tested. And on the x-axis, or the bottom of the page, is the previous month's somatic cell count linear scores for each cow tested. This information is helpful in showing us our mastitis instances over time, not just for a single month. Also, you'll notice that each cow has a specific color indicated by their lactation number, with first lactation being red, second lactation blue, and third or greater lactation being green. You can adjust which specific lactation group you want to look at by checking the boxes on the upper right-hand side of the screen. In order to determine which cows have new cases of mastitis, a chronic case, a cured case, or no case at all, it is helpful to divide the graph into quadrants using the crosshair function. This is located on the top left side of the screen. Once the crosshairs are on the graph, you can adjust them to the point where the vertical and horizontal lines match up with the linear score of 4 on the x and y axis. A linear score of 4 is used because the National Mastitis Council suggests that milk samples with a result of 200,000 somatic cells per milliliter of milk, or with a linear score of 4, or higher, is indicated that the cow is trying to defend herself against a pathogen, usually bacteria, and therefore has mastitis. Once the crosshairs are set, we can see that new mastitis cases are in the upper left quadrant, chronic mastitis cases are in the top right quadrant, healthy cows with no mastitis case are in the bottom left-hand side of the screen, and the cows with cured mastitis over the past month are in the bottom right quadrant. The second way to generate their support on Dairy Comp is simply by typing the command into the command line on the top of the screen. The command for this report is graph lgscc by prvlg by lctgp, or graph log somatic cell count by previous somatic cell count by lactation group. Once the command is entered, the same graph will appear as did when using the guide route. The crosshairs can be accessed by clicking the crosshair button as indicated in the previous graph, and once they are set to a linear score of 4 position, the quadrants can be analyzed as before. Now, let's look at pulling up the same type of report using PC Dart. Once you've gotten to the home screen of the herd that you want to analyze, click on the Cow Report button on the top of the screen. This will pull up the Cow Report Options menu. From there, click on the option entitled Previous Somatic Cell Count versus Current Somatic Cell Count which will bring up a similar report to the one we looked at on Dairy Comp 305. There are a couple of subtle differences on this report compared to the Dairy Comp report, the first being the best fit line that shows up on the report automatically. If you'd prefer not to see this line, simply uncheck the show line box on the bottom of the screen. Also, with the PC Dart report, you have the ability to partition the cows into different categories depending on how you want to analyze the report. By clicking on the Partition By drop-down menu, 
You can choose how you want the cows to be indicated on the graph by categories, such as lactation group, days in milk, and reproduction code. On this graph, I chose to look at the cows indicated by lactation group. To separate the graph into quadrants, check the crosshairs button on the bottom of the screen and adjust them to the linear score of four position. Again, this will show you the cows that are new, chronic, healthy, and cured. Another helpful tool that PCDART gives you in this report is an indicator of the number of cows and percentage of cows in each of the four quadrants. This concludes the presentation on generating somatic cell counts by previous somatic cell counts linear score reports on Dairy Comp 305 and PCDART. If there are any questions, feel free to visit the Dairy Focus Lab website or email the Dairy Focus Lab at the email provided. Thank you for your time.